Hey everyone, welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most common and complex questions about manifesting with the law of assumption, how do you persist in manifesting while also knowing it's already done? We'll be covering how persistence actually works, why sometimes just visualizing or affirming once can be enough, and what to do when you're unsure about balancing affirmations with the belief that it's already done. If you're ready to level up your manifesting power, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and let's get started. The power of persistence and trust in manifesting alright, so let's start by unpacking two core elements here, persistence and trust. Neville Goddard often said, the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the state that you must assume. Persistence doesn't mean repeating affirmations or visualizations out of desperation. It's about staying in the belief that what you desire is already a reality. But here's the twist, if you truly felt it was done, you wouldn't constantly need to affirm or visualize it as if it's still coming. So, why do we persist? Think of it this way, the human mind has a natural tendency to wander and revert to old beliefs, especially when it comes to deeply rooted desires, like relationships. Persistence is like training your subconscious to keep accepting this new reality, to keep returning to it until it becomes the default. So, here's the balance, persistence isn't about forcing it to happen but about aligning your subconscious to believe it's already real. It's like brushing your teeth, you don't brush them because they're dirty all the time, but to maintain health. In manifesting, you persist to maintain alignment, not because you're unsure if it's done. One-time visualization versus daily techniques you've heard it all, some say one-time visualization works, while others swear by daily affirmations. So, which is it? Let's break down why both methods work and how to choose what's best for you. Neville believed in the power of a single, powerful imaginal act. He'd often tell stories of people who visualized once and experienced transformation. Here's the trick, when you visualize deeply and believe, that single act can imprint so strongly on your subconscious that it becomes real. This is often called the faithful inner assumption, and it aligns your mind completely with your desire. But why do some people still need daily techniques? This depends on how strong your belief is. If you're someone who questions or feels uncertain, repeating affirmations or visualizing can reinforce this belief until it becomes second nature. In other words, if you're doubting, a regular practice might help until you feel secure. So, it's not about how often, but how real it feels each time you do it. Ask yourself this, when you visualize, do you feel it's absolutely done, or do you still feel unsure? If it feels real, then you're done? If not, daily techniques are your way of building up that belief. Knowing versus obsession, finding the balance here is where things get tricky, and I totally understand. If affirmations are making you feel obsessed or needy, then something needs to change. Manifestation should feel empowering, not like an endless cycle of checking if it's coming. Neville said that obsession only strengthens the idea that you don't have it. But here's the distinction, persistence isn't obsession. True persistence comes from a place of calm assurance, not desperation. Imagine it's like watering a plant every day. You're not obsessing over it, you're just nurturing it until it fully blooms. The same goes for manifesting. You're simply nurturing that assumption with each affirmation, not because you doubt it, but because you're keeping it alive. So, if affirmations are making you feel obsessed, consider this, stop the affirmations and switch to knowing. Just imagine your life as if it's already done and live from that state. Take the pressure off and affirm only when it feels natural and joyful, like watering that plant, not because you feel it needs constant attention. Letting go, how to trust without constant techniques Many people feel anxious when they stop affirming or visualizing because it feels like they're no longer doing something to make it happen. But here's a mindset shift, letting go doesn't mean forgetting. Letting go is actually about holding that assumption with so much inner confidence that you're not bound to techniques anymore. Think of this as setting an intention and then simply knowing it's yours. 
Just as you would place an order at a restaurant and trust that it's being prepared, your job is to let go of the need to check. Each time you catch yourself wondering if it's still coming, bring your focus back to the inner feeling of having it. Let that feeling be your technique. And a reminder, just because you're letting go doesn't mean you're giving up. Neville taught that letting go is the ultimate trust. This confidence tells your subconscious that your desire is already part of your life. It's a gentle yet powerful way to embody that it's done state. Practical techniques for persistent, trust if you're wondering, how do I practically persist without obsessing? Here are some techniques Neville shared to maintain that balance. 1. Mental diet, watch what you're consuming in terms of thoughts. 1. Avoid negativity and replace it with thoughts aligned with your desire. 2. Inner conversations, have mental conversations with your specific person or about your desire as if it's already done. 2. This is subtle yet powerful because it maintains the assumption. 3. Living in the end, every time you think about your desire, feel as though it's already a part of your life. 3. You don't need to affirm constantly if you're living from that end result. 4. Self-concept affirmations, rather than affirming for your desire, focus on affirming your worth and confidence. 4. I am worthy. I am loved, and I am a powerful creator. 4. This builds your self-belief and aligns you with receiving. By using these techniques, you're not chasing your desire, you're simply aligning with it. Think of it as keeping your inner state clear and focused, just like tuning a radio to receive the station perfectly. Addressing doubts, when to continue or pause it's natural to feel doubts about whether or not your manifestation is happening. But remember, doubts only arise from a place of needing confirmation. Instead of fighting doubts, recognize them as an old habit and let them pass. When you feel a doubt creeping in, don't resist it. Just gently affirm, it's already done. I am secure in this new reality. The more you practice this, the less often doubts will arise. And if you find yourself feeling the need to do more techniques, ask yourself, am I affirming because I trust it's done or because I need reassurance? If it's for reassurance, that's a signal to pause and reconnect with the feeling of it being done. Visualization and affirmation work best when they're inspired, not forced. Remember, persistence is about building belief, not forcing out take charge of your manifestation journey so, to sum it up, the balance between persistence and trust is personal and dynamic. If you feel confident, you don't need constant affirmations. But if your belief is still building, use techniques without attachment, as gentle reminders rather than obsessive habits. This journey is about stepping into your power as a creator, not chaining yourself to routines. If you're ready to deepen your manifesting practice, join our channel membership for exclusive content, or book a one-on-one -on -one consultation to get personalized guidance. We're here to support you in manifesting your best life, and achieving all that you desire. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video so we can reach our goal of helping 11 million people master the law of assumption. Leave a comment below, are you ready to persist and trust that it's done?